Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with Ergeschem Flipwagen. Pretty much the worst tier 10 light tank but the twist is very very simple, I haven't played with this vehicle for literally 2 years so I thought eh, why not to give it a go. So, what do we have for our very first battle, we have steps and we have a standard game, right? Okay, let's see what we can do with this vehicle. Um, I must admit, I played with this vehicle during the daytime a bit, and I can tell you one thing, oh, I struggled. I had a very, very, very uh, hard experience with, uh, with this vehicle, I truly did. Uh, and I checked out the average performance of the tank overall, how people are playing with this vehicle. And by the looks of it, this tank is the worst win ratio wise, tier 10 um, light tank and this vehicle is the worst, uh, um, obviously damage wise, as a tier 10 light tank. Why so? Skill on paper, this vehicle doesn't look that bad, right? And you are absolutely correct, fellas. On the paper, this vehicle is looking uh, like a solid tier 10 light tank. Very, very high speed, a very strong vehicle overall, uh, quite good gun accuracy, nice penetration with high explosives, AK 120mm, uh, good heat penetration, 280 for a light tank is pretty huge if you would ask me, um, nice APCR shell velocity and so on, so on. So yeah, it looks great on the paper, but fellas, you see, World of Tanks is not paper. Um, it doesn't really matter how the things are looking like on the paper, that's what I'm trying to say. The most important thing is how the tank is feeling like. And unfortunately with this, for this vehicle, this tank doesn't feel that great, unfortunately. Right? And even though you have a relatively good combination of the things, which is nice speed, okay gun, blah 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 blah, it just simply doesn't cut it. Uh, there is stronger ones and um, there is nothing what we can change about this. So just to let you know, it's the same situation. Beer is strong overall, right? I'm not speaking about the beer. I'm speaking about the beer as a beer, you know, big, uh, big fluffy mother trucker or not so fluffy. Anyways, you get the point what I'm saying. Any beer is looking strong, but, but it is, uh, uh, there is always a bigger one, right? So here you go. That's the answer to your, uh, um, to all of this situation. Anyways, let's see what we can do. I really want to punish this 430U and I want to punish this Manticore. This is what I am working for and that's what I am trying to do there. Um, luckily, Manticore is... I want to believe Manticore will think about peeking like this, fellas. Okay, 430U is running away. That's not what we are looking for. I thought we are going to get some free shit there, but unfortunately it's not the case. Oh, Manticore, how are you doing? Next shot will be with a high explosive. Ah, shame. Okay, look at this. At this point, I believe we can get a bit involved and we can go for this Manti. The thing is, we can bully Manticore. At least that's what we can do. Obviously, he is going to try to escape. Uh, undoubtedly, but we are not feeling that bad and I have a feeling we should be able to spank him up the butt. Mm -hmm. Not exactly what I'm looking for, wait for it, and now, bad shot. Speaking about the shell velocity with the high explosives, it is 700 meters per second, so that's quite low. That's on me, I could pre-aim better. How to get involved into this game? This is a very good map for a light tank, fellas. It truly is. There is not many things to complain about. Oh, JP is the high there. Okay. We know JP is the sitting there. Can we punish him somehow? Oh, yes, we can. Nice. 350 in the face. You know what I think I, this tank is missing? With all honesty, I think this tank is missing alpha damage. Maybe if this tank would have 420 alpha um, or 440 alpha, it would be a bit better. Maybe that's the thing what I am missing on, on this tank. Or maybe I am just spoiled mother trucker and I have no clue what are you, uh, what am I talking about. Also could be very possible. And also this vehicle is called flip wagon for a reason. With this vehicle, it is extremely easy to flip around. And I'm not joking, I truly mean it, fellas. 
it is very very easy to do so so for example now we flew through the rails and by flying through the rails we lost even some hit points this is quite crazy and in a way it is unique situation super conqueror do i want to shoot him that's the question why not okay leo is going to be our next victim hopefully i will try to do my best i will try to do best for my ability to eliminate him from the game shame low roll you see that alpha damage is we are missing some of the alpha it would be so much better if we could hit him for for a bit more hit points not by much just a bit more not by much oh nice high roll beautiful 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 now leo we are very very close to eliminate him from the game he's eliminated nice and once again we are trying to get as much use as we physically and possibly can here so nothing unusual fellas aha he loaded high explosives i'm not going to survive forever and ever and i think this game is overall relatively well for uh, for this vehicle and for this situation so yeah two shotted <laughs> two shotted fellas <laughs> Ooh. yeah we had 1,100 hit points and we got pretty much two shotted by this. So in total, we took three shots in this game. Yeah, I don't even know, fellas. Uh, I am trying to find some good words about this vehicle, but I, I just simply can't. Anyways, nevertheless, I do not really think this game was very, very bad played by us, honestly. We played defensively considering we are a light tank, but all in all, uh, we finished it with 2.4 thousand damage, 1.3 thousand assisting damage, and we are top by experience and even top by the damage with a bloody flip wagon. Anyways, uh, all in all, we broke even, kind of, so let's go for round number two. And we are back with round number two. So what do we have in this game? We have very, very, very unfriendly map for a light tank, and I believe I do not need to say that it is mountain pass, or you could call this map a corridor pass in a way. Uh, so what we will try to do, we will try to punish enemies whenever they will mess up, but this is not going to be so simple. Can you hear the turbo of CS63? I can hear the turbo of CS63. Anyways, our goal is to cross like this. This is very, very important thing. Okay, EBR is trying to go up, so we will try to spank him like there is no tomorrow, and spank, nice, oyoy, EBR 100 hit points, yeah, unlucky fellas, unlucky, well, what can I say, mistakes were made, let's see, can we spot another light tank sitting here? By the looks of it, light tank is not sitting in that position. Okay, that's good to know. But you know what? I have a feeling light tank is sitting somewhere, um, uh, somewhere over there. This would be my prediction. Now I will try to be involved and I will try to be very, very, very aggressive. Is it going to pay off? I don't know. But there is only one way to check out the things. I really want to see this light tank sitting here. I'm pretty sure he is there. And here we go. Beautiful. That's what we have very very nice so first things first i really want to spank this um this guy Ooh, mistakes were made mistakes were made i definitely over picked here oh on my ex yeah quite silly goose decision from my side boys and girls ladies and gentlemen i was definitely way too greedy than i supposed it to be i could play this game so much better and i could be a bit more intelligent i guess but it is how it is mistakes were made mm. I overpeaked and I need to pay a price for my greediness, I would say. That's what I need to pay. So looking into all of this, this Leo might try to come back to the same position. It is just simply a matter of the time. Since I am down to the one shotable, obviously I do not really want to I do not really want to take one for the team, but I do not really think I have any other option. You know what? I will try to escape. Hopefully, I will be lucky enough and I will say hasta la vista, baby. That's the plan, that's the hope and that's the dream. Luckily for us, Leo 1 did not spot us. That's great. And let's try to F off. Okay. How to get a bit more use? Hmm? How to get a bit more use, fellas? This is the question. This is not an easy one. 
and this is not an easy one you know what I changed my mind once again I am going to drop down and I will try to escape just like so I know it sounds quite weird but this is how I need to do the things because I'm afraid to go just like so just because of the chieftain maybe chieftain try to make a bit of pressure that's why so I need to be um, careful with what I am doing and what kind of decisions I am making okay when you do not know what to do fellas do nothing let's try to figure out how we can play this game and how we can approach the enemies so first things first I do not really think we can play against the chieftain I don't really think we can play against that 50b either um, obviously luckily for us our 277 spank at him like there is no tomorrow but 277 is in huge trouble right now himself and he needs to f off and this is exactly what he have done uh, he tried to run for his life but hashtag never lucky nothing what he can change about this okay how about this e3 beautiful so we have an e3 over there that's nice can we spank him oh hoo, hoo, hoo. unlucky leo unlucky leo fellas that was such a bad timing for this gentleman it's not even funny meanwhile leos are trying to make a bit of pressure like this they will definitely eliminate the I have no doubts whatsoever they should be able to eliminate uh, uh, the Super Conqueror because he's sitting in the deep shit hole. And in this kind of situation, I think we can prepare to spot uh, uh, guys over there. If Leo is speaking, we should be able to outspot him, right? That's all I am thinking about. Obviously, I can't. You know what? Never mind. I will escape from here because there is a super conqueror who is going through the open field and you know what I think it would be quite smart to um, to spot him for our clicker right hopefully our Jeff will notice that in time I am asking for his help and hopefully he could help us against the super conqueror now once again my goal is straightforward I want to spank him into the lower plate if possible and if we are spanking him into their lower plate, then he will lose some HP. And this is exactly what I am looking for, fellas. Okay, interesting. Interesting. I do not really think Super Conqueror will outspot me or Asterva would outspot me without uh, sitting in the bush, right? That's what I am thinking. Cool. This is position where we want to be. I know this is a weird one, but it could work very, very well. And surprisingly, this tank has a very, very, very nice uh, ability to play hold down. Um, it has like, what, minus 10 or even more gun depression, so that's relatively nice. Meanwhile, we are relocating from here and we are preparing for the apocalypse of the mother truckers who are trying to make a pressure like this. This is the thing, whenever you are getting maps like this, it is such a hard to play with this tank, fellas. I cannot describe this, um, how hard it is to play with the tanks like this. And the thing is, I am not a new player in the world of tanks. So a newer player, whenever I am thinking about this, what to do for a little Tim who is playing his 3000 games and he decided to go for a light tank like this. Uh, when I'm looking into all of this, fellas, I'm thinking, holy bananas. This is a problem and this is a hard one. Anyways. And that's why, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, you are using index page. If you are seeing the tank market as a bad one, you are not grinding it, right? Oh. Quite bad decision from my side, I would say. Let's see. Super Conqueror, right into the lower plate. Nice. Beautiful shot, honestly. We are spotting him and we are getting some um, some free shit and you know me I like some free shit assisting damage damage whatever everything is fine meanwhile let's check out do they have anyone who will try to make a bit of pressure like so what do you think do we have anyone no it doesn't look like it hmm. does it mean our team is winning this game Does that mean, fellas, our team is winning this game? 
Let's load gold. We are hoping for our Jeff to spank him in the ass a bit. This is what personally I am hoping for. And you know what? I have an idea. How about if I would get involved myself? Could I make a bit of pressure like this? And could I spank this Esterva or Artas? You know what? I have a feeling this could actually work. If I would be a Esterva, uh, probably I would not make pressure like this. I would go towards the middle or I would go for a base defense. So I think this could be very, very legit strategy to simply make this, uh, uh, make a pressure in this side and simply eliminate enemy Jeffs. I think this is very, very, very smart decision from our side. So let's see, can we make it work? I know probably I could go like this and spank him once in the ass, but I think killing two Arthas is better considering most of our team is sniping from the back, don't you think so? Good. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Jeff is down. Let's see, can we kill other one? Can we kill the other one? Nice, excellent. This is exactly what we are looking for. And that's what we need. Now what we might spot, we might spot a Sterva trying to make a bit of pressure for us like this, but we'll see. Here is stuff. I saw him praying over there. I saw him, fellas. And I knew it. Whenever I am going to spot him or whenever his sixth sense will start working, he's going to try to spank me like there is no tomorrow. That was close. That was way too close, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. That was way too close. Okay, let's try to get involved like this. Okay, very, very nice. How are you doing today? High explosives, 400 in the face, beautiful, I shouldn't be spotted, I am feeling completely fine, and the last shot into this time goes like this, nice. Okay, that was that was a solid game. I, I was working my ass off in this game, fellas, it was truly hard one, considering I lost all my hit points in the first moment of the game. After that, I put my balls in the hand, I squeezed them a bit, and then I tried to do everything what I could. <sighs> Good game. Good game. Today I had a... Whenever I am recording this video, it is... Um, it is Sunday for me, and to be fair with you fellas, I had extremely, extremely strong session today. Games went like I wanted to, and everything went very, very well. Nice to meet you. Have a good one. Easy game. He said hello uh, for us before. So what do we have? We have a Pascuki medal. We have a, mm, we have obviously a Swanker. We have 3.8 thousand damage, 2.2 thousand assisting damage. Considering what kind of map we had, that was very very nice. And in the end of the day, we have 28 thousand profits. Beautiful. Let's go for round number three, shall we? And we are back with the last game. Okay. This is not going to be an easy one, in my humble opinion. This is going to be quite hard one. Uh, the thing is, map is quite complicated, I would say. The light tank, luckily for us, enemy light tank is not as strong as we are. By saying that, I mean, not like Ergashem is very, very good, but spotting wise, Sheridan is definitely way worse than this vehicle is. So, I believe we might control the field pretty well, fellas. I have a feeling we might control field pretty well. So first things first, I want to take this bush like this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, they have mother tracker here. There is no other way. There is no other way, I would say. Okay, let's see.
I have a feeling he's sitting in this bush. I think this gentleman could be only one who could spot me, to be fair with you. I do not really think anyone else could. I do not think anyone else could. And at this point we are just going to wait until Mr. Fosh will make a mistake. That's all I want to see. And obviously when we will have like 100% shot we will try to hit him. Hmm. Or I will miss the shot myself. That's on me. It's okay fellas, it is okay. We are holding a very, very good angle here. And in the same time, once again, there is a light tank sitting in this bush. I can promise you that fellas. There is a light tank sitting in this uh, bush, for sure. I could try to escape, I guess, but to be fair with you, I do not really think am I going to get enough use from all of this. Try to hit him whenever I had a chance, obviously we are hitting him, we are getting spotted. This light tank is here. Okay, since no one is countering this light tank, I think I need to. So, how we are going to do the things? We are trying to get a proper angle to escape and we are running away. Now I will show you how to counter this mother... Oh, okay, light tank is dead. Absolutely amazing. Nice, nice, good job. Beautiful. Now, at this point, we can figure out how we can make a bit of pressure like this. Can they have a Leo somewhere over there? You never know. Oh, okay. Super Conqueror is trying to cross through the middle. Interesting. Well... To be fair with you, it is his fault, so I do not really think he can complain about this, I guess. Very, very nice. Let's keep him spotted. Is it only me or this gentleman is a baboon? You know what? I think this gentleman was a baboon. I'm pretty sure he was a baboon. Okay, let's try to go like this. Although, to my defense, he tried to uh, blind shot me. So, I would not call this cannibalism, fellas. I would not call it this way. Okay, what do we have? I'm pretty sure they have someone sitting here as well. I'm pretty sure about this. Okay, let's try to hit the trash barn. Beautiful. Very, very nice. We are just providing the uh, spots for our team. This is pretty much the goal for us. We are providing our team with the spots and in the same time whenever we can do damage, obviously we will. Hmm. Should I go for a base defense? I think I will. I think this side is relatively clear already, so I do not really think it is worth for us to keep making pressure. I do not really think it is worth it. So instead of doing that, we are going to go for a base defense somewhere over there. And hopefully we are going to punish uh, tanks like Leo 1 if obviously he is going to make a mistake and if he is going to be involved. Meanwhile, what we know, we know I'm X30 is politely asking, Skill, could you please spank me? And I'm considering my life choices. Do I want to or I do not want to? Yes, I frozen here for a second. It is completely fine for us. It is completely fine. I really doubt they will spot me if they will go sideways like this. And in the same time, maybe this is not the right way to do the things. I am questioning my uh, choices in this game. I am questioning my choices in this battle for sure. Could load high explosives for this guy, but I don't really think it is going to be worth it. He's relatively safe. But he might try to fight against 113. Although he is kind of safe. Not anymore. Nice. Exactly what we want to see. There is still 10 guns left, fellas. There is still 10 guns left. We have enough time here. And we are providing our team with assisting damage as well. It's not like it is bad or something. Oh, come on. That was quite sad, I would say. But, luckily for us, we are not spotted, so that's great. Leo is trying to make pressure like... Oh, come on, flip wagon. Yo, papa. 
Flip wagen. Jo. 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 Piece of caco. Well, this game is definitely one of a kind. By saying this game is one of a kind, not only we are getting penetrated by the enemy Jeff in the first moment of the game, but in the same time we are being uh, hunted by enemies. I know, we are going to flank this guy and we are going to kill him, so it's okay. It is a matter of the time whenever he will die. I really doubt he is going to notice that in time. Beautiful, very very nice. And now where is the E4? Probably E4 if he is smart, he is trying to escape from here, but once again you never know. A hard game. Only 2.7 thousand done so far. Can we improve? Sure we can, but it is not going to be uh, so easy. Or will it be easy? Hmm? What do you think? What do we have? We have E4S. Yeah. Right in the butthole for 400. Good. Can we get another one? Pretty please. Aiming for a butthole and he is safe from us. Unfortunate. I'm going to load the standard ammunition at this point. The question is, is he looking at us or not? Yes, he is. I think I will react quicker than he will. Okay. That's good. Relax. Take it easy. We have all time in the world of times. He's thinking he's safe. But no, you are not. And the last remaining enemy is Tarva. Can we ram him? I do not want to ram him anymore. I do not want to ram him anymore. So yeah, fellas. The last tank... Uh, the last tank is dead. Okay, listen, this is a very, very, very tricky tank to play with. Uh, I can tell you one thing. I am, I personally struggle with this vehicle. Um, I do not really find it very enjoyable tank. I flipped with this vehicle so many times, it wasn't even funny. Um, imagine that, you are going straight road, there is a bump and you are on your side. It is it is way worse than EBR driving wise, at least for me. And tank itself is kind of meh, but luckily for us we made it work. So all in all I am happy with this performance, although it wasn't definitely um, ideal. Uh, Sheridan was smart bugger in the, in the typical bush, that was a good one. Um, and all in all I am okay with that. So. Our score, we played 3 games, we won 2 out of 3 games, we did 2.7 thousand damage and 2 thousand average da uh, average assisting damage, so we played for 4.7 thousand combined. But skill the games went well, would you recommend this tank? No. Uh, I was lucky, I hope you were very very well entertained considering with what kind of tank we played there. Um, and um, I wish you not to grind it fellas. So. Uh, one more thing which I really want to show for you, and this is truly important, right? Uh, by saying this vehicle is one of the uh, one of the worst tanks, I wasn't lying, right? And I really want to put this out of the way, and I truly want to show everything for you. Uh, okay, everything is ready, so we are going to the index page. We are checking the tier tens, we are checking the light tanks, and we are seeing a one very, very, very simple thing. Over 60 days, win ratio wise, Ergashem flip wagon is obviously the weakest tank, right? Or on top and lowest with the damage. Now, if we are checking 30 days, we are having the actually a kind of similar trend but this time Sheridan overtook it although Sheridan is completely different tank. In 14 days once again Sheridan is overtaking the cherry on top. Unbelievable fellas. Okay looks like we need to do Cher Sheridan video now. I'm just messing with you. Have a good one. Enjoy yourself and see you next time. Skill is out for today. Peace.